not just for standing, but for sitting. And when I got into the boat, it was right there for me to grab. All right, this is the Mud Skipper grab bar. I'm going to open up this box and take it out. It came shipped like this. Uh, there is a hole in the bottom of the box. And this piece came out as I carried it over here. So hopefully nothing else was lost in shipping. But uh, I'll open up the box and we'll get the parts together and I'll show you how I intend on installing it. All right, this is the contents that I got inside the box. I was under the impression that it came with some hardware, three uh, nuts and bolts and washers. It appears that this bar goes here, and then this is a foot that will go there. Uh, didn't I don't think it even came with paper instructions, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And Let's see, this is not a critique video. I wasn't looking to critique it, but you can see that it's already, it came rusted a little bit. So that's a little disappointing for quality, but the whole thing only cost me $63 shipped. So um, I guess you get what you pay for, kinda. Hopefully this thing will last, but uh, yeah, let me assemble this and show you where I'm gonna put it on a boat. I've gotta take the cover off and get ready. It's a uh, balmy 50 something degrees here in September in Massachusetts. So, all right, so as the half inch wrench will work, the um, three pieces assemble like this. Uh, so you'll obviously want to put this on before you attach this bar here. Um, you can see there's a little gap here, so you have to do a little squeezing of the bar to get the bolt into the pre-threaded ends that they provide. Um, so I'm going to tighten it up and then I'm going to test fit it and show you where it's going to stand. I'm actually so far very pleased with it. It's not, it's not overly obtuse. All right, so drilling three holes because mocking this thing up um, I realized I'm not going to have to remove it. It's really not in the way at all. Even when I'm not using it, it won't be in the way. So I have stainless hardware, stainless fender washers, stainless nuts and bolts. Um, I actually got the nylon locking ones because I don't want them vibrating off. And then I have these rubber washers here, which I'm going to sandwich the bottom of the boat with these. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than the nuts so that they'll, they'll have to displace them a little bit so uh, hopefully prevent leaking. This boat is currently bone dry and I want to keep it that way. I will probably end up putting a little bit of silicone on this too. I know 5200 is an option, I just don't have any on me and I'm pretty sure that with all of these washers and rubber here that regular silicone will work fine. If it doesn't work fine, I will then get 5200 on that. So gonna do that now so here's my mock-up um, that's what it's gonna look like then there'll be this it's gonna go up the bottom of the boat I'm gonna put this washer on you can see how tight that they fit which is good then another washer and then the bracket so I'm gonna pop these through and then stick the uh, rubber here to hold them up So I'll show you if I can get this on camera real quick. I suspect that even though this is powder coated, that this is just steel. I don't know what, exactly what it is, but it sure does feel like it. And it had a little bit of corrosion and, and rust up in here. So uh, the good thing is having a rubber gasket between this washer and the boat will prevent corrosion on top of which these washers are stainless steel. And so are these nuts and bolts. And the metal here is uh, hovering just over the aluminum and it's making contact on the these wide washers so it's very stable 
that doesn't really, I mean, you really got to jiggle the boat. Um, so not a whole lot of flex, and I suspect a lot of it has to do with the shape of the floor here with these ribs. But uh, overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, like I said, the Mud Skipper Grab Bar cost me $63 delivered. I spent another $30 in stainless steel nuts bolts. I do have a couple of uh, extra, so it really wasn't $30 in materials used. It was materials I bought and because I wanted to sort it out in a manner that uh, gave me options. So satisfied with it. Next thing is to take it out in the water and see how it performs. All right, so I'm at the boat ramp. Well, the staging area for the boat ramp. I'm gonna get the boat ready before I go over there and the grab bar is installed. And I'll show you the underneath here where the rubber washers are. So it made a good sandwich uh, effect there and I put a little bit of silicone on and I saw this, not a whole lot, but a little bit and it, I saw it kind of spreading out. So I suspect it'll be a good seal. The other thing that is uh, important for me to mention is I did offset the grab bar so that way the tiller handle's not directly in my back but off to the side a little bit. So with an extension handle, we'll see how it performs. All right, so we're rolling. Got the grab bar there. I think I'm gonna give it a stand up and see. Of course, I'm holding the camera. Well, I'm not really going to be able to film myself. That's pretty apparent to me. So, Let's see if I can just set the camera down. And... All right. I'm not sure if I got the footage that I was hoping for, but as you can see, there's no water here coming through those holes that I drilled. Grab bar's right in front of me. I got my camera on it. So, as I'm seated, it works out really well. Got my extension bar on and standing up is working fantastic. So I'm gonna set the camera down again, see if I can get another quick view of uh, standing. I don't exactly have another cameraman with me at the moment, so uh, let's see how this works.